you know, something you touched on there uh, brought me to another question, which is going backwards a little bit in our in our conversation. But um, ways to make sure that um, your property is not falling apart, or, yeah. or uh, you know, so the question is, how often do you recommend either the owner or the property manager actually visit and get actual eyes on the property to make sure it's not being neglected? Um, it's really up to the owner. Um, I would say if the owner wants to get involved, always give the property manager a heads up. It's kind of like, so if the property is the business, um, the owner is basically the CEO. Um, and I mean, it, it would be the equivalent to the CEO just showing up uh, at a sales meeting and say, hey, I'm going to take along for the day and not giving any heads up or not having any context for what's going on in the in the business transaction. And so for all you people like out in the professional world, that would like that would be the worst thing ever. And so for a property manager, it's the same thing. When you just say when you get that email and the owner says, oh, I swung by the property the other day and I noticed these things. It's like, whoa, like, OK, one, I was supposed to give the tenants notice, like all these things. And it's like, Dude, you got to tell me that. Um, so one, if the owner's going to visit, just give the property manager a heads up. Say, hey, I'd like to see it. I'm thinking Tuesday at this time. Can you let the tenants know? Property manager's going to say, sure, I'll meet you there. Um, for property managers to visit, um, it kind of depends on on their skill set um, and what are the things are going. Um, I actually push a lot of stuff to our maintenance team. We've got a really good maintenance guy, and he... Um, we've kind of trained them to say like, hey, these are the things that we're looking for and that our owners care about. Um, and so if you're on site and, the, and fixing a plumbing issue and the tenant brings up this door that isn't quite hanging right, absolutely go out and fix it um, on the same trip and just include it in the invoice. Um, but to, So that's kind of also on the proactive side. Um, I try to get out to a property at the very least in a very formal way twice a year. You do it in spring and you do it in fall. And so that's that's a very like formal, I have an actual checklist, I have my handyman at my side and we're actually looking up, you know, and we're going in the attics, we're going in the basements and we're being, you know, very involved. It's, we're spending, you know, a good a good amount of time at each property. So that's, a, that's an all day activity. So, um, but other than that, it's kind of, you kind of just have, if you have a team, like we work with leasing agents who, um, I kind of say like, "Hey, how did it look?" Or like, "What was how did the tenants um, feel as they were, you know, walking through it?" Or the the applicants, and you kind of work with the team and you train people to be your eyes and ears, and that goes a long way because, like, just as an owner, you're gonna miss stuff, or you're gonna say like, "Oh, that's always been that way," and someone might, someone new might say like, mm, "I don't know if it's supposed to be that way." So, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, I think that's good. Having different perspectives give you feedback. And um, I really like that you said that you, as a manager, mm -hmm. make a point to visit the property twice a year at least. Yeah. And that's basically like a full inspection. Like if I was going to sell the property, um, that's the type of inspection that I'm doing. And and um, I was and city city Minneapolis comes and does their inspection. I'm going to be there for that. Um, when Section Eight does their inspection, I'm going to be for that. Um, and so. Outside of those, I'm going to have two very formal email all the tenants. Hey, I'm going to be here basically all day looking at everything. So I'm going to be under the kitchen sink. I'm going to be up in the attic, like I said before. That's good. You're going to uncover a lot because, you know, otherwise, especially with scattered site properties, um, the, things can come up and you might not notice them for months or years if you're never there. Yeah. Want to hear more on this topic? Click the link below for the full episode of Maximizing Your Property Value.